From being comforted by him when they first met to hating the way he communicates, here's how Katrina Balfe really feels about working with Sam Hewen. They've got chemistry on screen and off screen. Outlander fans are, and have always been, totally obsessed with Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe. I mean, how could they not be? The duo had insane chemistry since the very first scene where Claire snapped Jamie's arm back into place. And as much as fans would like to imagine it wasn't all acting, the two have never actually dated in real life. But that doesn't mean they aren't super close. Jamie and Claire's scenes were as good as they were, only because the actors hit it off the minute they met. Sam spilled the tea during an interview. Apparently, the two just got on well instantly when they sat and talked before the audition. He even had a bunch of compliments for his co-star, from her humor is fantastic, she's great fun to work with, to she's very hardworking, a wonderful actress, very natural. Seems like someone's a lot like the character they play on screen. But wait, it gets even better. Katrina actually said that their chemistry was quite instantaneous, and her first impression of his was just absolutely adorable. She remembered being pretty nervous during that chemistry test, so Sam actually helped her feel much better because he was the nicest guy. That kind of solid, grounded guy. I totally get what she means. He just looks like the kind of person who'd be a great shoulder to cry on, and I'm not just saying that because he has great shoulders, but because he gives off such an empathetic vibe. That's why she was sure of him from the get-go. The pair took a long walk in Hyde Park back when they were about to start working together, you know, to kind of get to know each other more. Boy, did that work out well for them. Balf enjoyed spending the day with him so much that she still recalls it fondly. They talked about everything from their own lives to the characters and what they thought of them. If you were a fan of Hewen, this will only make you love him more. Just spending a day with him convinced the 43-year-old actress that she'd found a really solid friend and amazing co-star. So Sam was basically the reason why she felt sure of the entire project. I mean, it makes sense. If the person you're going to spend most of your time with is practically perfect, there's hardly anything else to worry about. Not only did he have a tiny ego, he was always kind to her and even checked in on her from time to time. I can't even deal with how sweet all this is. He was taking care of her on set and off set. Like, that's way too adorable. How can you not fall in love with a guy like that? And that's a question fans have never been able to answer. You know, two actors are way too good at their job when their fans can't stop shipping them together in real life. But it wasn't just their on-screen chemistry that convinced them. It was the way they behaved off set that really pushed the idea. To the fans, no matter what they were doing, they always looked like a couple. Photo shoots, interviews, panels, you name it. Their banter had the entire fan base hooked, but according to most of them, the pair just looked at each other like they were in love. Some took it a bit too far, though, to the point that they started doing some seriously delusional stuff. And I mean borderline or actually completely criminal behavior. These fans were out here hiring detectives. What the? Yeah, I'm so not blowing this out of proportion. They were so sure that the pair was dating in real life that they got detectives to snoop around for them. And the worst part is, it didn't stop there. They even called up the church where the Belfast actress got married to find out if it was a real wedding. Now that's insane, but this next one takes it out of the park. Get this, some fans actually cooked up this conspiracy theory that Valve's son with her husband Tony McGill wasn't his. That's right, they were convinced that she'd given birth to Hoenn's son. I get it if you need to take a moment to process that, because I sure did. No wonder they had to clarify their relationship status. After 10 years of working together, the pair actually got tired of the dating rumors. They're seriously over them at this point, especially since Balfi's gotten married and had a baby. She talked about how annoying it actually is now. The Now You See Me actress made it very clear that their relationship is a lot like the show, a fantasy. It's easy to get the actor mixed up with their character, but they're just not the same people. It's their job to play those characters. So there are no romantic emotions involved, I know. Their chemistry is way too good. It's always been. That's why it's amazing that the two are best friends. But that's about it. While Balfi is straight up tired of these dating rumors, Hewen feels bad about it. He's just such a cutie. It actually upsets him that his fans are disappointed since he's not dating his co-star. There's that generous, kind heart Kate was talking about. He really doesn't have an ego either because he very humbly appreciated the fans' love too. To him, it means that they've done a good job playing Jamie and Claire. After all, their work is the most important. 
and Hewen's pretty particular when it comes to that. Very difficult to work with this human, so high maintenance. That's what the actress said about her hunk of a co-star, except she was joking. There's really no end to their banter. The Love Again actor chimed in and said it had gotten worse, that each season had gotten harder. They are so cheeky, it's adorable. But seriously, they've had a great time working with each other. And working for 10 whole years has only made them the best of friends. Sam even said that it's almost like being in a relationship. I mean, they practically know everything about each other, personally and professionally. They've even seen each other, but naked. That's a whole different level of vulnerability. So it makes sense that they've been great buddies through it all. How else would they have gotten through? The amount of time they've had to spend working together, it would have been hell if they didn't have each other's backs the way they did. Like, Balf says she couldn't have gotten a better partner even if she tried. That's just how amazing it's been. For her, working with Sam has been a gift. But what's the reason behind all this love? It's pretty simple. He's always been easy to work with. That's why parting ways now after all this time will be really hard for her. You best believe she's not just saying that. The actress already knows what she'll be doing when the last season's done and over with. She'll be sitting in her room, staring at her wall, thinking about what to do with herself. But hey, when the going gets tough, at least she'll have her buddy to rely on. Now that doesn't mean it's all sunshine and rainbows. I mean, you didn't expect them to adore everything about each other now. Did you? They are humans after all. And you won't believe what Kate's pet peeve is when it comes to Sam. Let's see if you can relate to it. While the cast was out promoting the newest season of our beloved time travel series in New York, they stopped by an event MTV's Josh Horowitz was hosting. He had the actors play some fun games involving memes, reading each other's lines, and avoiding those tricky spoiler questions about the new season. It was a blast. That's when Kate spilled some major tea. Brace yourself, because it's a juicy one. She's frustrated that Sam refuses to give her a simple call. Instead, he sends super long voice notes. She was all like, why does he send me monologues when we should be talking? But he defended himself right then and there. He said he just doesn't have the time to call and doesn't want to either. Ooh, sassy. That didn't stop her from clapping right back. She claimed that he just proved her point. The call's just bull, like when you want to say something but don't have time for it. Now, when I tell you these two could go back and forth forever, because Hewen defended his beloved voice notes even more. In his opinion, they're beautiful. You can leave someone a message, and they can just reply on their own time. It's a lot more personal than a text. Speaking as someone who starts panicking when they get a call, I totally get where he's coming from. But sometimes it's important to have a real-time conversation. What do you think? And that's all, guys. From hating the way he communicates to being comforted by him when they first met. This was how Katrina Balfe really feels about working with Sam Hewen.